Hey, what's up guys? It's uh, JP here and I uh, haven't posted anything in a while so I thought I'd uh, show you a little bit of science. Now, I know I've posted I think one other video about chemistry when I made uh, <clears throat> magnesium heptoxide and we reacted that uh, with alcohol and uh, did a little hypergolic reaction. Also, I believe I did a thermite video that you can check out. But uh, here we have a Geiger counter. As you can see now, it's registering about uh, 0.16 uh, I'm out, yeah, no, oh, sorry, I keep flipping around here. 0.14 microsieverts per hour. And our counts per minute are about 22. So that's normal background radiation. But here I have a rock. But this isn't just any rock. This is uh, uranium ore. So there is inside of this rock, and it's actually a very uh, beautiful, beautifully colored rock. If I can get it to focus a little bit better there, you can see very beautiful, like rose colors in there, blacks, greens, very beautiful rock. But there is a little bit of uh, uranium uh, metal in there that uh, is indeed radioactive, and uh, I can uh, prove this. So let's see if I can just bring this down here, show you the Geiger counter. If I take the rock and hold it up to the Geiger counter, You'll see the uh, radiation start to spike. Yes, now we're getting into uh, higher levels of radiation. The alarm is sounding, the dosimeter alarm. Although this is not dangerous for me to be doing this right now because it is such a small amount of uh, localized exposure to radiation. If you were, say, in a room that had a radiation level like this, you wouldn't want to stay there too long. But uh, Now we're up to, there we go, it looks like we found a little hot spot there. Over one uh, microsievert per hour now and climbing 100, almost 200 counts per minute. So this is actually detecting the uh, beta particles that are coming off of the uh, the uranium inside of the ore that, and also the other uh, elements in there that uh, uranium uh, makes as it decays, like uh, neptunium, plutonium, stuff like that. Now we're up to over two microsieverts per hour, and it's still climbing. About 360 counts per minute. Uh, three microsieverts per hour. Still climbing. To about 580, 590, almost 600, 600 counts per minute now and still climbing. Four microsieverts per hour. Four point five microsieverts per hour, almost up to five microsieverts per hour. And gonna get up to about 800 counts per minute here in a moment. Over five microsieverts per hour now. Quickly climbing. About 860 counts per minute. About 5.5 microsieverts per hour. And yes, as you can see, that is definitely uh, radioactive. I'll take that away. And you'll see... That'll slowly start to 
climb down back to uh, normal levels and I'll move the sample further away from the detector as to not uh, influence it. Um, you have to have the sample pretty close to the detector for it to really register because the, the particles that come off of that, the radioactive particles, only travel a very short distance in air. Uh, they're not as energetic. Uh, you know, they don't travel very far. That's another reason why it's not super dangerous to hold that because really even uh you know with this rubber glove on that i'm wearing here it's not going to travel i mean it you know that's almost enough to stop a lot of the you know the dangerous particles from reaching my um, skin or inside my hands so but you wouldn't want to you know handle any kind of material like that for any long period of time for like say hours or anything like that but safe to to touch and it's back to background normal levels again Thought that'd be a little interesting. I find it interesting. I think it's pretty cool. So I have a little collection of, uh, or a little sample of uh, radioactive uh, uranium ore. Yeah. Anyways, uh, that was my demonstration for today. I do hope you found it interesting. And uh, this is uh, JP. I'll be uh, signing off.